Yo, what up everybody? It's your boy Ivan, aka DJ Superfly, here with a great update um, that Serato has just released. Also, the implementation of Phase, um, and it's basically on beta right now, so I kind of wanted to give you an update on what's happening. Um, right now, they're offering the public beta, so there's a special link. I'll link it down in the description below, but you can also find it um, on Phase's email if you're uh, part of the Phase community. Uh, they were able to send that public uh, beta out and just a reminder that it is a beta uh, don't use it at live gigs so it can crash on you so if you want to go ahead and try the new stuff you know with the imp implementation of phase and whatnot and the new fixes that they've made I highly guarantee you go try it out so um, I'm just gonna give you quick instructions on what to do so first you're gonna have to go into um, the link you download the beta version of Serato uh, you can use Mac or Windows, so whatever you, you use. I use Mac, so I went go ahead and did that and already installed it. Um, and then next, you also need to update your, your phase manager. So uh, your phase manager is also included in there. And I have not updated m my phase um, device. You need to update the firmware for it to be able to work. Uh, again, because I'm using Mac, uh, I downloaded it. Uh, and the instructions in here but I can help you um, do it here now so that you guys know what to expect and what to do so you don't mess up. Um, if you want to re read the instructions, you can, but it's going to vary for everybody. Um, so go ahead and install both of those, and I'm going to show you here quick how to update the firmware on the phase device. All right, so as you can see here, I have downloaded the phase manager, the beta version. So right now it's version 2.1.16 beta. You will see that beta on there, so make sure that uh, um, uh, you put it in your head that if your uh, phase crashes, Serato crashes, it's all because of beta and they're start, still trying to fix it. So if you want to go ahead and provide some feedback, that's what that forum is for. So if you go back to that forum and let them know what's happening. Uh, but this is a new version, and basically I have my uh, phase already here in front of me. Of course, you guys can't see it, so I'm going to hook it up to my computer. Um, just give it some time. And there it is. So right now I'm running version 5. Uh, so I think the new version that's supposed to work with it is version 6. Um, you can see here in the uh, on the update log or the change log on what it is. I'm trying to find what it is, but I'm not sure what it is. So we'll go ahead and update it. We'll go ahead and follow the instructions on how to update it. So go ahead and click update, begin. It's going to update the, the first receiver um, and it does it real quick. So make sure they're both connected. Um, you might have to run it again if you're running four phases, if that makes sense, because it also has to update the firmware on the other devices. So if you have two more that are not connected to the base, run them, run this whole setup again um, to those two receivers that are not on the base if that makes sense because <laughs> in other words they saw the ultimate pack with you know four phases and you also have to update the firmware on you know on all four of them of course it's not just the base uh just want to put out there people that you get confused that when they do that um they're not they forget to update the other phases as well um and this up updates the the radio frequencies the settings and everything specific to what we're going to make it work um and also the fact that um you're not able to use uh, the RCA jacks anymore into your mixer. Um, you're gonna directly just hook up face directly to the computer or to a USB hub behind your mixer, which is gonna be a game changer because that's, I have a 72, uh, a Rain 72, and I just wanna be able to have that one cable to hook up to the mixer um, and then just use that little hub there uh, to run phase. So, no audio is going to be passing through it, so put that in, in your head as well that it's not going to be um, an audio kind of like a sound card. This does not work as a sound card. It only works as a MIDI controller, so it's, all, it's only going to send numbers. It's not going to send high definition stuff, so um, there it is. So I got it. It's on, uh, let's see what version it is. Yep, version 6.0. So the new version, again, works. Um, and 
yeah i'm i'm more excited now to try it with serato so and able to do that i have to go get my mixer hook it up and then there's a specific way to change it so that it recognizes it as just phase there's a new option in serato that's going to be able to and, and and show you um but i want to put a video out there for people that you know they sometimes just write down you know on the text and people don't understand where the deck mode and all this stuff is at. so give me a sec because i set up my other stuff um i updated to the beta again this is a beta so when the new version comes out um it's just basically gonna say you know not not say beta i should say um so make sure you look out for that and be aware i'm not <laughs> i'm not responsible for your crashes guys everybody's got different computers so if your computer crashes it's a beta man don't run betas you can always run two different versions you can install the old serato and the new serato and that's a whole different video but let's go hook up the mixer and show you how it works with serato all right so as you guys can see i got phase connected um, i kind of already got them synced because you know sometimes there's that issue where you got to sync them together so i just have them on the side i don't have the tables i just have the mixer um, i have it hooked up directly to the mixer you can see there it's on deck one we usually connect the 12s or whatever and again this can be used as a MIDI source because it that's technically what it is it's just sending a bunch of numbers um, to the program so there's no need um, for a really high bandwidth type of um, how do you say connection you know like how we're doing nowadays we need USB 3.0 or um, Thunderbolt no this will only uh, output MIDI so which is basically just numbers through the, the program or whatever so I'm going in through the mixer because like I said that's what I want to overall do and I have the main uh, have USB A right there going into my computer. It's going out to the back and it's going to my little uh, adapter there. Um, and I'll get to the program and show you that here. So this is the phase manager. Like I said, everything's hooked up to it and ready to go. Um, phase as well. Oh, on Serato, it, it one of the cool things that that they implemented was i'm gonna disconnect the mixer here quick to show you what what happens is when you disconnect the mixer or when you reconnect it let me go back here there it's connected in the bottom you see where it says there in the bottom rain 72 hardware connecting um so that's always been there but now they also added the phase version of it as well so whenever phase is connected to it it's going to automatically detect it um and it'll say right here, I gotta actually disconnect it from here. Um, okay, nope, it read it. Okay, message, go away. I'm gonna disconnect phase, and I'm gonna reconnect it on the computer, or on the mixer, and there's HID device connected, phase. So you see it there, now we have it connected. Now, how do we set it up? How do we get it to the point where um, there is literally, um, there are no, um, RCA cables running into you know, what we're used to is basically, you know, we just we used to be, be connect the RCAs or into the mixer to be able to to do that. But we're not doing that now. What we're doing is just straight MIDI control in a sort of way. Um, so in Serato, they added this new cool feature that uh, many of the, the DVS turntables users know about this program. So many of the turntablists know about this is the relative absolute mode. Um, a lot of them use the relative mode, but now we have got a new option. So WIR, which means wireless. Uh, you select those on both decks uh, if you want to go ahead and use that. And I'm messing with the with the little phase here. I'll show you on the video. So this is me mixing it, and I think I have audio. So give me one sec. There we can do it correctly. Oh, no, you won't be able to hear it because I got an external mic. <laughs> My bad. But there it is. You see that it works. So it works perfect. Like I said, I don't have my turntables to, to, to show you all. And here's the other one. So boom. That's it. Awesome. I did have to try it, you know, with the turntables, but I'm assuming it's, it's going to be the same thing. It's probably going to be more... Um, reliable in a sort of way because you're eliminating passing you know uh, a phase now like before you'd have to you know connect this to this and then the rca is out into here so you're eliminating that and you're directly going from the base 
into literally then to the computer so which is cool um, we'll go back here into the phase manager so in the phase manager um, they added some new cool things and this is one of the things I want to talk about um, besides all the new Serato features uh, I'm trying to concentrate just on phase for the reason being that you know this is one of the biggest features that um, a lot of people have been waiting for uh, they teased it since last year but it's been a year yeah and a year later here we are um, so one of the cool things they added under the setup um, if y'all know about the color pickers and whatnot so uh, you can do the calibrate um, manually if you don't know how to do that it, there's a bunch of videos but they added a cool feature it's a double tap calibration now if you can see in the video there you know how uh, without opening the program phase manager or whatever you double tap on the uh, on the phase adapter while you have your pitch at zero on the turntable and that's just to calibrate it just to make sure that uh, it's sending the right information so that you know when you pitch up or down uh, on your turntable is going to be an instant thing um, sometimes you know it loses that connection and, and through radio frequency or through turn you know when you're turning off your 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 face uh, base it, it, it loses that so they added this cool feature. I have not tried it. I want to try it. Like I said, once I get my 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 whole setup out, um, you go ahead and, and just enable that. And then without having to open the phase manager, you can just double tap on the phase itself and it's going to start the calibration. So um, and, and it tells you right here that the, the LEDs will slowly fill up and blink green once the process is complete. So once once you do that, you're able to tell from the LEDs that the process is is being <laughs> is being um, done without you having opened the the, the friggin uh, phase manager which is cool um, they also added a boost radio signal I think this was in the last one I can't remember uh, if you're having issues with you know your remotes not 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 picking up the uh, the signal or whatever in Serato um, you can just boost the radio take note that will waste uh, battery um, and I think that's that's mostly it uh, for the for the specifically this because like i said there is a bunch of new features for serato um uh, they said they added a new hid section in the setups tab so i think in the setting setup tab oh right here so oh okay so videos and stuff cool your dvs whatever you're using remote speed all right okay and Let's see, the other thing that is new on this one is, uh, I think that's pretty much it. The main one being Serato, because everybody has been waiting for that. Um, and if you're into, like, let's say, uh, just Serato itself, they did fix a bunch of stuff. Um, they're trying to work with uh, Mac OS 11 Big Sur uh, to have it support with that. Um, they're trying to work you know it's again it's it's a mac issue it's not necessarily a serato issue mac has a bunch of security protocols they have to follow with the programs and whatnot um so they have to rewrite the code sometimes to be able to make it work um they added bport link and beat source link now they have an offline thing and i do i just started using uh beat source as a thing um i just need to log in and and do the downloading thing but uh it's pretty simple basic uh, they got some pretty cool music too. Um, they have the new offline locker, which is available, which downloads tracks to have them saved in your in your crates or whatever uh, offline. Um, here's the phase official Serato support we're talking about. Um, and you do need a DVS enabled hardware mixer, just you know, like the Rain 70s Pioneer mixers, uh, DJ mixers for scratching and whatnot. Um, they added some new stuff for the Serato, but there's a bunch of changes that they added. The number one being they reduced the drift. That's another part of it where uh, people were having issues with uh, the 12s drifting just a bit uh, when they're scratching. So hopefully that, that I don't have 12, so that'd be kind of a cool thing to know. Uh, the ability to adjust the sampler master volume on Rain 1. So they added a little shortcut so you can do shift. We hold shift and you move the beats encoder that helps you uh, control the sampler master volume which is cool um it Serato dj can no longer be installed on older um mac os's uh el capitan 10.10.11 and below um updated look for in-app uh like i said there's a bunch of stuff and you can go ahead and read through it but 
I thought those first two were, were good. Uh, see, is there any specific things here that we need to talk about? Um, there's been crashes and everything like that. So uh, um, here's a known issue. So because of it being beta, like I mentioned earlier, it might crash on you. Um, so phase can hang in that, that mode, that wireless mode, when powering your Serato DJ hardware off and on. Uh, when the phase unit is connected so don't connect it when you turn on Serato um, disconnect it and reconnect basically open up Serato uh, disconnect no I should let me start over um, turn off Serato and then disconnect phase from your mixer um, as well as the mixer because uh, it's you know how I'm using it as a hub and then reopen Serato plug in your mixer and then plug in phase in a, you know in that sequence if you're having issues with it not working because uh, uh, it might crash uh, and again it's because of 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 it being a beta they might have to fix some of the coding um, that B port uh, link and beat source link also has some crash when they're trying to connect to the internet so make make sure you don't lose internet or else it might crash um, let's see here uh, and I think that's pretty much it so uh, if I have anything else to add, I'll add it to the description box below. But if you guys like this video, please like and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up as well. So uh, I make sure you guys are watching it and that way I can put up more videos. Uh, but yeah, if you have any questions, please let me know. And we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.